Hey friends, how's it going? So this is the first in the one of many actual proper talk on uh, cyber clans. The talk that people want me to really have on the whole thing. You see, since the site went down, it um, after the whole bankruptcy thing, it went up. And obviously it went on uh, mer very, uh, you know, a few various things. Now, Cyberclans after the bankruptcy of Indytronics was going to be a company for a little while. But um, they set up a thing called the Monitors Forum and on the Monitors Forum, the first couple of post posts were test posts, mainly just news about, um, you know, various things that they were doing. Um, a guy called Matthew Hopkins, you may have known, he was the sideline of Indytronics. He was the man that was um, basically pushing for a lot of things. He had a lot of money in his back pocket so to speak, and he tried various uh, different things. But what he wanted, or what he was uh, going for, was a more sort of open slash closed source approach. Now, also at the time, Matt was working with the Digboard project, um, which is why he was pushing to try a different... Um, Android systems on there. You may have seen the article, this does not compute, or these machines does not compute. And uh, because the software wasn't that good, I mean, even the uh, hardware wasn't that great to what he was building, which is why the firmware wasn't great, which is why um, there was a lot of ghost dialing issues. Uh, there was a few buggy issues. There were ROMs that just kept crashing. There were mainly... The, and he was posting articles on the CyberClans forum to do with bug fixes on the dig board. Which, and, and here's the thing, you know, a lot of people weren't going to the dig board forums at the time. And because like now um, they go to because uh, they is everything's been made. They go to a lot of these help forums because they know they can get a lot of the information from there. And especially a lot of the a lot of the communities go around those forums and the like. Now, bear in mind, this isn't a video into why I stopped using Cybercons. That video is, is in the making. And there's a lot of hefty scripting, but this is more on uh, Cybercons and the article that everybody keeps talking about. So when um, the... When the when those two uh, posts went, uh, they were treated like test posts, which they were like test posts. One of which being that the um, there was dig board news. Uh, the first post was the dig board actually being uh, rebranded because of the uh, that was the second post. The first post was to do with all the bugs. And there was a dig board forum that went on Cyberclans, and it's still there. And it's more of people complaining to Matthew Hopkins, who has left the project entirely on its arse. Uh, I mean, it's, it's moved on. Um, and thank goodness it's moved on. But he sold off the uh, hardware, he sold off the software, um, he went to a really shit company in in uh, in Liverpool. We actually know this company. 
he went to a really shit company that were building uh, broken broken tech, basically. Now, they weren't breaking it on purpose. It just wasn't... Because it was like, um, if you go to a production line and demand, and then you sort of... You're demanding and whipping people at the same time. Um, yeah, when you screw up a production line at a production line, you know, and they sort of give it to you within... In fact, um, they didn't have a chance to test it in beta because they were being lashed and demanded at the same time. Now, they weren't being physically lashed, but they were worked. These people were worked like they were beasted. Um, you know, so the fingerprint scanner um, wasn't... It, you know, it was rushed. The... Um, the face scanning thing, the, uh, thing that sort of, uh, does, you know, the whole thing where it does, like, face ID or whatever to unlock. That was also broken because there was a Welsh company that were doing it. But again, these were rushed. The production lines were rushed. If you, if you, um, if you push something to its limits, it's going to, it's going to, uh, give up, you know, it's going to crash and burn at some stage. And that's what happened with the day board hardware. And he was complaining, like he was complaining about the, uh, the cases, the, um, um, The, you know, the casing, um, 3D printing, which went absolutely, uh, but anyway, it was all, and people saw pictures, um, people saw pictures of what was coming out, uh, what was coming off the, uh, production line, and this guy might as well just took the shit out of the production bins and gone onto the production line himself and built the thing himself. But no, that, that never happened. Um, we saw... We j just the stuff we saw was... Yeah. So that was Matthew Hopkins. And he wrote to Don Atkins uh, midway through the process of uh, cyber clans. You know, basically... Again, demanding, demanding this, demanding that, demanding a, a progressive web app. And Don Atkins goes, yeah, I'll go to such and such a body. And, of course, Don Atkins took a massive gamble because, again, he was whipping people with one hand and demanding with the other, demanding, like, everything. And he still does it to this day. The company he has now, um, he does stuff now, um, and he's still, like, people will not work for Matthew Hopkins. And he's been to um, a lot of MGRX conferences, and he's openly said, openly said, that nobody is, um, nobody is, you know, nobody is uh, crying to his wishes, so to speak. Um, because he, I mean, look at those call centers, which he's running like a freaking dog. I mean, you wouldn't, there's the things that you just not want, would want to work for. Anyway, I don't want to slag the man off because the man managed to get, uh, Matthew Hopkins managed to get CyberClans back up and running with the monitors for him. Uh... But, you know, there was the progressive web app, which never went to plan. And it got... That was when we saw a proprietary... Um, closed source system, which everybody hated. Uh, they were open sourcing the site and the browser, which is still available. 
but they weren't doing the same with the web app. And then just everything went to shit, and it's still all the crap still there on GitHub. But all of that kind of went, and then Don Atkins got a nice email in his inbox saying, "Would you like CyberClans back?" And Don Atkins replied, "You know, it was mine to begin with, <laughs> you know." Um, so, you know, Don Atkins basically put on his blog that he had basically bought CyberClans back. Uh, he had he didn't need to buy anything. He didn't need to pay anything. He just got it back, and um, he was outright posting stuff on the monitors forum. You know, which is it was like, well, everything sort of went good again, but then John Heard basically was at Don Atkins, and and that the whole drama started up. Outside of CyberClans, thank God, but in other places like TikTok, for example. So anyway, um, that's just a little brief thing. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, you know, uh, I'll make another video into why I don't use CyberClans. Bye. Mic trigger, mic lock, finish recording.